Hey, my name is Jay McIntosh. I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt under Jarrett Bex. Um, what I'm going to talk about right now is the Jiu-Jitsu Plateau. Uh, lately, I've had a lot of my students come to me, especially blue belts and later white belts, talk about they're not feeling like they're getting any better. Um, this happens to everybody. Uh, I've been training Jiu-Jitsu for 10 years, and at every single rank, I encountered a plateau effect. Uh, Sometimes it was little and I kind of worked my way past it. Sometimes it was so big where I wanted to quit. Uh, keep in mind that before I got my blue belt, I wanted to quit for at least a month. And I, and I didn't train for a month. Um, I just was too stubborn, so I decided to come back and you know keep training. Well, during that time as a blue belt, there was so many times that I just gave up. Like I felt like I wasn't getting better. I'd look at my teammates and I was wondering, you know, they're getting better. I don't think I'm getting better. Um, but in reality... We were all getting better. I just wasn't changing up what I was doing. I was too stuck in my comfort zone um, to branch out and start, you know, improving. Um, so the main focus right now is just to help out all of my students or anybody that trains uh, in general. Um, this is going to be an unedited video. Uh, I don't have the time to fix anything up or you know edit out any bad wordings or anything like that. So. I want to go over a couple ways to beat the plateau effect, okay? Um, evaluate your why. A lot of times people get so bent out of shape because they're training, but they don't know why they're training anymore. Um, keep in mind, everyone had a reason they wanted to start training in the first place. Uh, my reason was sport, okay? So my goal has always been sport to improve that. Throughout the time period, yeah, when I was burnt out on competing, I had to figure out, okay, what is my new why going to be for at least the time being? Then I became very passionate about self-defense. So evaluate your why. Um, you have some people that are hobbyists. You know, do you just want to do something that you know get good at? Uh, are you looking to get in shape? If you're looking to get in shape, then you need you know steadily be moving in class. You know, put maximum effort in the warm-ups, maximum effort in the uh, the conditioning part. Um, if your why is self-defense, you need to focus on the self-defense. Focus on the bare fundamentals of each t uh, technique. Um, if you want to, you know, if you're wise to be a competitor, then you need to start looking at all aspects of being an athlete. Um, another way that you can beat the jujitsu plateau is play a different game. If you've been playing something over and over again and it's been effective, that's great. Put it in your pocket, save it for later, um, because that means it, it's obviously something that's been working for you, and you need to expand on the other elements of jujitsu. There's so many things out there for it, so start looking at different aspects. Um, Another thing that you can do to beat the jiu-jitsu plateau is visit different academies. Uh, there's different open mats. Uh, I know some schools have it to where uh, um, you can't visit certain academies or they're against it, but you know, here at No Limit, we don't mind that. Um, my professor encourages us to travel. Um, visit different academies, go to different open mats, go to different tournaments that aren't in your regional area, that people that you always compete against. Um, and you'll start seeing something. You'll start seeing different games. You'll start feeling different vibes from different schools. So it's just a good eye-opener. Um, and if anything, ask to help instruct. There's nothing better than teaching kids or teaching beginners in general um, jujitsu. And you start to see a, a new excitement and a new um, uh, uh, motive as to why you're training. It's very inspiring and it helps me out every day. Um, I know there was a time period where I stepped away from teaching the kids class. Now that I'm back doing it, man, I feel wired all the time. Uh, working more with the fundamentals classes. Uh, seeing the excitement, seeing that aha moment when someone brand new figures out how to control mount or how to escape mount or escape side control. So pretty much a good way to beat the jujitsu plateau is evaluate your why, um, play a different game, help instruct, uh, visit different academies, open mats, compete outside of your normal element. Um, and most, more than anything, remember, everybody goes through it. Um, it's just, you know, the higher rank that you become, you learn how to deal with it a little bit easier.